Okay guys, here is my new kitchen. I'm gonna start with the bar stools first. So first things first, let's start out and then we'll go inward. Um, let's start off with our bar stools. Now these bar stools are from Amazon. If you guys want to know where these are from, I'll try to link them below. Or if you ask me by request, I'll find them for you. I just love, love, love the detail in the bar stool. It's kind of giving you like a modern farmhouse theme, which is the theme of our house basically but I absolutely love them they're a little bit too high for the bar simply because our last house was higher our bar our island was higher but I thought they still work I can still sit in them comfortably and I absolutely love 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 how they look right here um so next we're gonna go into the island and the island it isn't granite it's actually quartz and as you can see the little shine if you guys can see the shine on the the countertop and it is so 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 pretty um like i said we're not finished decorating yet i just really wanted to show you guys next let's go to the um dishwasher um, stainless steel dishwasher. I do have some dishes in here I have to put up, but I absolutely love how big and spacious, spacious it is. We have a lot of storage space in the kitchen. So this is under the sink. This is the trash can and we have the pool trash can, which I love. Like I requested to have a pool trash can because it's so discreet, discreet and you can't see it. Um, so we have another storage area here. We have tons of tons of tons of storage area, which I like. Okay, so now let's go up to the island. Now this is just some randomness that came. And excuse the boxes in the back, like we're not finished um, unpacking yet. But this is just a box of randomness that came from our last house. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the kitchen yet, but it was, all this stuff was in the kitchen um, and the candles were in the breakfast area. That's why they're here. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff yet. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But more counter space. So, and I got the fruit here. This is not going to be the placement for it. It's just here for now. And let's go up to the counter. The, I mean, the, <laughs> the cabinets up here. Um, the cabinets have so much space. space. And then the, uh, something's right here blocking this. This is not how I'm gonna put the stuff. I just threw it in here for now because I needed to get everything off of, out of the boxes. So this is not the actual placement for this stuff. It's just there because I wanted to get it all out of the boxes and get it washed. So we do have the cabinets that do not slam. Did y'all hear that? You heard nothing, right? It, I love that. And then um, we have the glass here. And as you can see, the glass is stained. It is stained and it is so super, super pretty. I am going to put glasses and decor there. I just don't know what I want to do yet, but I'm just showing you this just to, you know, so you can see how stained and pretty it is. And it has a tons of space. Again, this is not my placement for everything. It was just to get everything out of the boxes. So let's go over to my coffee area. Again, this, I'm not done. <laughs> I have like this wine rack. I'm gonna have some tonics in there and some wine. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it right here, but this came from at home. I think it was like maybe $20, 20 something dollars, maybe 30, but it is so cute. I don't know if this is gonna be the placement for it, but it is so cute for a farmhouse, like modern farmhouse theme. And it has like the ridges on there. It is so nice. Um, this is not going there. This is just came from the old house along with this came from our old apartment and I have my Nespresso there and a coffee and this is all old decor that I just placed just for now I'm gonna I'm gonna make it pop I just wanted to show you guys all the space and how it looks again We have more cabinet space here tons of cabinet space and then we have tons of cabinet space down here as well uh, we and this drawer just has Nespresso pods that I found out were too little and I just threw them in here. So excuse the mess, but look how big the cabinet space is and the 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 drawer is. 
and it has so much space so I, this is going to be my coffee area for sure but i'm going to have um i'm going to have it a little bit more organized with some more things in here and this is for my uh my frother which is over there but just has a lot of space a whole lot of space next we're going to go to our fridge and this fridge came from our old house and it has a few little dings in there from moving or whatever but it still serves its purpose we don't think we need a brand new fridge just because a little bit of ding right and then up here we have more cabinet space and we have um, actually the cabinets are really really high because we have a really high ceiling as you guys can see and I'm gonna get into the light fixtures next so here are the light fixtures that are over the bar top or the island rather um, the Long Island where the bar is and they are so cute you can't see how they look um, because they're on but they have the same stain as this um the cabinet the glass cabinet right here the same stain and i did hand pick the colors and i hand picked the stain i hand picked everything in the kitchen as well okay so let's go to the island in the middle and again the, the flowers are dying excuse me i try to keep flowers in here every week that's my goal we only been in the house for for a little bit almost maybe almost three weeks maybe maybe a little bit less but I just put this here, put the candle in here, and I put the hello sign. And this is just old decor that came, that followed us. Oh, and I got this spray from Walmart when I was there getting some stuff. It makes your house smell absolutely amazing. Very inexpensive. And this is the sandalwood and vanilla. Girl, this spray is everything. You only need a little bit. It goes a long way. Next, we have some more cabinet space down here. And I told you our house is full of cabinet space. And again, the drawers open really, really wide. Okay, let's go to the stove area. And again, more cabinet space, which I absolutely love. So we have cabinet space right here. The drawer is kind of out because I was trying to, to fit um, something under there, but it's, I think it's kind of sticking out and then we have these long long drawers So much cabinet space and I love it and all three of these are big like that Then we have more cabinet space here We have our um, seasonings in here for now. I might change it But I love again how the cabinets close and there's no sound and I love the detail we have the same detail on the island um, and it's just so pretty um, these open as well this one does but it does not have a knob on there I thought that was kind of weird but that's how it is and then again more cabinet space um, here is how our stove looks and it's a gas range so pretty and i just put this here because we've been cooking a little bit but um this also came from our previous house that we owned <laughs> so i just put it there for the time being and again tons of cabinet space i'm just trying to find some cute ideas to put on the sides once i find some cute ideas to put on the side then i'm gonna do it but for right now um this is how it's gonna be um until i find i don't want to rush and and put the court up and I don't like it so I was like I'll just wait next we have our um, oven and our microwave now what I love about our microwave is it connects to Wi-Fi so if you uh, I know it's kind of you know be careful if you run this um, while you're gone but you can remote enable it enable the the oven say if you're coming home you want to cook something and you want to make sure it's ready uh, or make sure the, the the heat is preheated you can do a um, remote start and then down here we have more cabinet space and also more cabinet space right here now let's go to our our light here it is so pretty i turned off the light so you guys can see it and as you can see it has the same stain it is super pretty, giving you modern farmhouse vibes and just absolutely gorgeous. And we have tons of light fixture here. And we also have right there, we have surround sound. So we just have to get our speakers up for our surround sound. And girl, it is all set. Like, 
we're not like like i said you see the boxes and everything lingering around and my, my roses are dying like baby if you're watching this i need new roses he promised to keep get me new roses every week um but look at the floor I, like I said, I handpicked all of the colors and I absolutely love how the floor, um, basically the tone of the floor basically sets the vibe for the kitchen. Like it makes it like really, really stand out. And over there is the dining room. Um, I, I wanna give you guys, a. T I, I thought I would give a, a, a kitchen tour because I do cooking videos and you know, I'll be cooking here now. You've probably seen it in my previous video and I actually cooked there. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys my new kitchen again. I'm not finished. Oh, the sink. I got this piece here from at home and I have my, um, uh, Dawn in here to wash dishes and my scrubber. It actually came with the scrubber and I just put my sponge in there as well. And excuse my son's cup. I didn't even know that was in here, <laughs> but, um, I love the faucet on the sink. I wanted the deep. The deep the deep uh sink and so that's what we got here other than that that is just a quick tour of my kitchen my new kitchen and how it looks i absolutely love it i did shine um the wood i have this wood cleaner and you're probably seeing like a little shine residue but um i was like let me just show the kitchen real quick i will come back um and show it after i um, do some more decorating here and we have tons of light here and I love that we have the light um, that's under that's under the cabinet here and it just shines so so bright like I can turn it down here and take the light out or I can simply come over here and shut the lights off as well and then we have the light that are that's underneath and we keep that on because of the kids um if they get up at night come out their rooms at least when they try to come across to our room they have some light um again not finished but just wanted to show you guys a quick tour of my new kitchen and i'm gonna turn that middle light on if i can click it and i think the bulb is probably oh there it is and it is so pretty, like super, super pretty. I love a lot of light. I just love a lot of uh, natural light, but also light, like bright light, especially in the kitchen. And look how high the ceilings are, super pretty. Y'all let me know what you guys think about the kitchen tour. Okay, so with intermittent fasting, within your window, it's kind of like free game, right? But you wanna make sure that you're still making sure that you know or have a good idea of what you eat. It doesn't have to be boring. I use seasoning in all my food. I do not go bland. I, I don't, I, I wouldn't do myself like that. So I'm gonna show you what I'm having um, as the first meal. You can start off with the green smoothie or whatever, but today I just wanted to have some fun just to break the um, the feeling of feeling like I have to have that, you know? Um, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some, some ground chicken and I'm going to make some tortilla chips out of these carb balance flour tortillas. And the tortillas are only 70 calories and I'm gonna use two of these. So we were on talking about Taco Bell and I'm like, okay, let me make something that's close to that. Then I have my um, chicken seasoning. I have my um, onion powder. I have my garlic powder, pepper. I'm gonna use garlic in my meat. I have a little bit of cheddar cheese. I have some jalapeno. Y'all know I love my cilantro. I have it here. I have some onion to put on top. And I'm also going to add a little bit of romaine lettuce. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make some tortilla chips out of the tortillas. And I'm basically gonna make my own little Taco Bell at home. Um, very low calories. Like I opted out of the ground the ground beef for the ground chicken, which saves me tons of calories. I opted out of the tortillas and just made my own. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make them and what I'm gonna cook them in. And I still have the same great seasoning as everything. So it's gonna be amazing. So stay tuned, let's make the meal.
So first things first, I'm going to start with my ground chicken. I'm gonna just use half of the ground chicken because I don't want to use the whole thing because I'm not gonna eat the whole thing right now. So I'm just going to use a little bit of ground chicken just to make sure I stay on my calorie count, okay? Still don't wanna go over your calories. Um, I do not weigh my stuff with a scale. I've been losing weight this whole time without a scale, so if it's not broke, I'm not gonna fix it. Um, so I'm just adding my ground chicken. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of my season, my seasoning, my chicken seasoning. Now, if you don't like this seasoning or you don't wanna use it, you can use a little bit of chicken broth. But since I don't have chicken broth, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, which will be the same effect of me adding the chicken broth. And remember, this is gonna make its own grease. So you don't need a lot. I just added just a little bit, just a cap full um, of water in, into the chicken. Next, I'm gonna go in with my onion powder. And this is to taste. Everybody has different tastes. Um, taste buds and we like things differently. So just do you boo, do you. I'm adding some pepper right now. It can be any pepper, great value, whatever. I just tried to be cute today and I put this pepper out. And lastly, I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic. So this is one and a half tablespoons of garlic and it smells absolutely amazing. I am a garlic person. Um, if you've been watching me, I absolutely love garlic. So I'm just gonna add that in there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of more of the chicken season because it's gonna, it's gonna do everything for this. So this is not gonna take long at all. Um, it's probably gonna take about 10 minutes to cook. So while this is cooking down, and you can already see it's already, um, basically frying a little bit and remember it's not going to turn brown brown like uh, like ground beef so if you're trying to get away from beef and um you have reasons you can't eat beef and you still want like nachos or anything you can use the ground chicken Okay, so next we are on to the tortillas. Now, if you wanted to cut these, you could use a pizza cutter, but I have no clue where the pizza cutter went. So I'm just gonna use a knife to cut them as best as I can. And I'm just cutting down and it's actually working really good. You can cut them into small pieces. You can cut them into big pieces. It just really all depends on you and what you wanna do. Now, the, the pieces that you cut, they're not gonna be perfect, so don't worry about trying to be perfect or trying to, you know, um, be top, <laughs> the, uh, beat Bobby Flay. Like, we're not trying to beat Bobby Flay, okay? We're just trying to eat a good, healthy meal, and we're trying to enjoy it and make sure it has good flavor and good taste, okay? We don't have to, we're not, be, we're not gonna be beating Bobby Flay, okay? But I actually cut this one better. Look at that. But it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. And again, between both of these tortillas, it's only 140 calories. Now, since the pieces are cut, as you can see, all the pieces are cut. They're not even, they don't have to be even. They're going in your mouth, they're gonna be chewed. It's fine, okay? I'm using a cast iron skillet because I just think that the cast iron skillet, it's just everything. Like, if you've ever cooked on a cast iron skillet, it's just amazing okay like i'm from alabama you guys know that so cast iron skillet is going to get you where you need to go so now i'm just using some extra virgin olive oil um just to save me on calories you don't have to basically drown this in oil okay you don't have to drown it in oil just make sure that the whole pan is basically coated okay Okay, now our grease is hot, and we're just gonna add your tortilla, or now our tortilla chips, onto the pan. 
and they're not going to take long to cook at all. The dimensions, like I said, do not have to be perfect. You just have to sh make sure that you watch it so you can be able to turn them. King, how they're cooking, as you can see, it doesn't take much. Like I told you, you don't need much oil. You just have to make sure that you're turning them. They're going to get really, really crispy. And all I did, like I, as you can see, I added some sea salt on the top. It can be regular salt if need be, but they look amazing and they smell absolutely amazing. just going to add a little bit of onion to the top next I'm going to add just a little bit of cheese this can be you can put melted cheese on there you can put shredded cheese on there you can put the Mexican cheese on there I'm just adding um, sharp cheddar cheese um, I got this from Publix and it doesn't have to be a lot okay if you want it to melt you can put it into the oven and melt it so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'll be right back i'm just gonna melt melt it down just a little bit so here it is melted down and i just put it in the oven and the microwave for a few seconds let it melt down i forgot to put my lettuce on it but it's fine not this time i'm just gonna add a little bit of cilantro and i'm gonna add my jalapeno like if you guys know me you know i love I absolutely love jalapeno. So I'm gonna add the jalapeno to it. Very low in calories, very fun. Remember with peppers, um, it's free game. Peppers is free game, okay? And this is my food, that's why I'm touching it. Okay, I just wanna make it cute for the girls. Add a little bit of cilantro, more cilantro on there and here is our quick and easy meal under 15 minutes very very yummy and tasty very in our proportions to keep us on track but also just give us something really really good to look forward to and good to eat